This program contains views and opinions that may not be suitable for all audiences. Audience discretion is advised. Welcome to Constructive Deconstruction, everybody. I am your host, Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and my co-hosts this week, as always, from now and f until whatever else happens, are Holly Christine and Gonzo Link. Hello. Hello. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And if it's not up by the time this actually goes up on YouTube and everywhere else, um, hopefully by the next show we will have some spiffy new title card art for you. That will be awesome that my lovely girlfriend is doing. Uh, if you want to – I'm already going to toss out where you can find her art. Just go to – actually, if you want to see her on Tumblr, it's Becky Hop. And, of course, you can toss money at her at patreon.com slash Becky Hop because she is awesome and she is a great artist and she is an award-winning animator. Very nice. Yes, and I will pimp out my stuff at the end of the show like normal. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I mention that because I know some people are going to be like, oh, wait, you're mentioning her but not your own stuff? No, that's at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, So this week we, we got a couple of very similar things, both having to deal with colleges and fraternities and sororities and, and I, I guess how people are expected or think they should be expected to act in certain ways. Some of it very, 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 very – Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, some of it very unfortunate and rage-inducing, but that's not the one we're starting out with this week. We're going to start out relatively lighter, although we can still pick this apart. And I have to say, this one was, this one was sent to us by Biohybrid. He tackled me on my Facebook wall and he said, dude, you and Holly need to do this. I guess he hadn't gotten the memo that, that uh, Gonzo had been added. So No. So. No. I, I I never heard about this until you sent me the link. I, I oh man, I, I I still don't know what to make of this. This is pretty amazing. Yeah. So well, well, hey, you know what? Part of the show, we can all process this together. <laughs> I just want to say, yeah, yes. she was drunk. I'm very impressed by her ability to still type and spell correctly. <laughs> hey. Yeah, she has pretty good grammar and like pretty good punctuation too. I mean, there's nothing like grammatically wrong with it. Yeah. Yeah. College did something for her, I guess. There you go. And, and, and hey, I, I, w I will take issue with that one because I have been slap pissed drunk, and I could still type just like I was sober. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've, I've, been, I've been in that state too, but I mean, I don't know. I guess not to cast aspersions on anybody and their, their yeah. typing abilities, but I mean, I guess it is just more. Because I mean, I know people who have been still sober that type with, with blatant disregard to punctuation and grammar, <laughs> and it yeah. just mystifies me. Oh God! One of my cousins did that on Facebook today. Just, you know, she she was upset at somebody. I don't remember what it was. It was drama, drama, drama. And I swear, I looked at it. I was tapped into to, to just type to her, grammar. Use your fucking grammar. God it is damn. tempting, but I don't know. At this point, I've just decided to, to to just let people do what they do. I mean, it 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 does kind of aggravate me, but. I can only do so much without looking like a dick. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and while I will sometimes push the dick envelope, that's a weird-ass <laughs> phrase there. That's a new one. <laughs> that is a new one. Pulled right out of my ass. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> you, you pulled the dick envelope out of your ass. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Keeping it classy on the show. Oh, yeah, very classy. And, and allow me to climb out of this hole I happen to have dug for myself. Okay. <laughs> So this article, we found it on Jezebel.com, or actually Biohybrid was the one who sent it to me. He found it on Jezebel.com and sent it to me. And it's entitled, Sorority Dick Sucking Queen Writes Truly Unhinged Graduation Letter. Dick Sucking Queen, you know? That's a, she came up with the title herself, people. So yeah. So this isn't us being jerks. This is, yeah. she. That's, that's what it actually says. You look it up it, and it, that's what it says. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so sorority t life teaches young ladies many important lessons throughout their college tenures. Sisterhood, service, and if this graduation from one nutty sorority girl is to be believed, dick sucking. Uh, yeah, because, you know, college life is just like the pornos. <clears throat> oh, yeah. No, it's Funny, because I didn't have to be in a sorority to learn it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've known... I've been with plenty of women, never been in a sorority. Just saying. A letter sent, for some reason, to total, total Sorority Move details the lessons one very angry and very horny, but mostly angry, sorority sister learned during her time in higher education. 
I love how they clarify very horny in there. Yeah. <laughs> but mostly angry. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, I mean, hang- anger and horniness, they can go hand in hand. I've been there. I think Horn that's... Yes. I-, I think that's one of my default modes. Mm. Uh, I'm happy to report that it is blessedly unhinged. Blessedly unhinged. Oh, dear. Mm. I'm sad to report that it's no Rebecca Martinson cunt punt treatsy. In fact, our po- in our post-cunt punt world, letters like this feel derivative. We're not sure why the letter was sent to TSM, and neither are they, but it landed in their inbox from the author herself. And why cloud the enjoyment of a minor nutty masterpiece with questions of logistics? Let's celebrate Shakespeare's 450th birthday. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's posted on Shakespeare's birthday. <laughs> oh. Go writing. Yes. In the most appropriate of ways, with the Hamlet-esque soliloquy on alienation, participation, self-regard, and dicks. Uh, so, so I, I have to ask. I, I've been toying with asking, so I'm just going to ask it right now. Holly, do you want to read the letter? <laughs> um, I suppose I can. Okay. Of course, I just took a bite of quesadilla, so you're going to have to give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we are not above having food on this show. <laughs> Getting in the yeah, zone. Yeah, sorry guys. I was hungry and I was like, I'll just go get a quick snack. And then I'm in the kitchen and I was like, oh, but I really want a quesadilla. <laughs> uh, so I'm just, just like, all right, well, I'll just make fun. Yeah. Isn't that how it always goes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I go in the kitchen for chips. I end up coming back with two tuna sandwiches for some reason. So, and, and, yeah. I'm, and I'm not trying to make fun. I, I really do do that sometimes. <laughs> and while I would have just like put it aside for now, we also have special guest host Peanut here today. Oh, no. And, He's very concerned about what's going to happen to my case at the end. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you going to eat that? You stop touching it for five seconds. You eating right. it still? Yeah. Is that, is that good? Because if it's not, I'll, I'll take care of it. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I got it. Yeah. Oh, God. So, yes. All right. My younger sleuths. I don't know why they're sleuths. <laughs> sleuths. But, okay. My younger sleuths of sorority, which has been censored to protect, I guess, every other member of this sorority ever. (laughs) It's like, we don't want to be associated with this crazy person, please. Yeah. Yeah. It's me, your favorite ghost senior of the sorority. Yeah, you little bitches probably don't even know who I am because I'm the one who doesn't show up to shit because it's pointless. And when I do, I sneak out like two in two hours when important people aren't looking. Learn from my way, little ones. Cheating the system is how you get through life. Now, even though the majority of you bitches, with a Z, don't know who I am. Yeah, bitches. Mm -hmm. Don't know who I am. You really should have gotten to know me, though. I would have made your year fucking awesome. Emphasis on the fucking. Name censored and name censored. (laughs) (laughs) They may have some choice words and stories to tell about me. All of them involving loud and tight, I'm sure. <laughs> oh. All right, so me being a senior, not even knowing how the fuck I made it this far in life without killing myself because I'm a dumb fuck, I was told by our officers, who think they rule the fucking world, to leave a senior will. So I'm going to be blunt and truthful with you, Sloots. You will learn everything you need to know about college right here in this letter. Oh, goody. We get to learn everything we need to know about college. Yay! Oh. He just got himself backed right up to the computer, and then he's, like, scratching his ear. <laughs> and I'm like, I wonder how much of that can be heard. Just keep it. Well, I, for the record, I've not heard any of it, so. Okay. <laughs> so, uh. number one, have sex. Have sex with as many boys as you can. Well, not exactly. Check out their penis first. Dick pics are God's gift to women. Make sure you inspect the goods before you let it penetrate you vagina. You... So there was a typo. Yeah. Um, oh, having sex is awesome. The best thing you can do for your sex life is to learn to love sucking dick. It is one of my favorite pastimes. I could suck dick for like seven minutes. <laughs> seven minutes? I love that hey. she's like... <laughs> very specific about the amount of time that she can spend doing this. Seven minutes. Seven minutes in heaven. Anything Seven after that is sucks. too long. 
You definitely should have made your man bust his load all in your mouth in seven minutes. You can't achieve that. Sorry, sweetheart, but you have a better chance of becoming a lesbo than getting dick. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I've got an issue with the whole seven minutes thing, okay? I realize this is TMI territory, but full disclosure, it is, no pun intended, very hard for me to to – to orgasm from a blowjob. I have told women this before. And this woman right here is saying, well, if it's not seven minutes, then obviously you're doing something wrong. No! My point is it's not it, – my point is it's not because of her. It might be because the guy just has issues with it. Yep. That's all. I don't know. It's always just felt kind of weird to me. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it was just – it just wasn't being done right, but I, I don't know. I could, I could skip it. Yeah. And – and, and, and another full disclosure: most of my par- most of the partners that I've had, we tend to skip the oral, just because phew, we're too impatient. We're like, okay, we we just want to penetrate right now. Boom, there you go. Just get it in there. Get it in there. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> that's basically how it goes. So it it, it really doesn't matter if, if you can you know if, if you can suck dick very well, you know, at least not for me. Oh. Uh. So. Okay, it's gonna get worse before it gets better, people. So just oh, just remember that this girl is kind of uh, not really giving off. girls some good advice. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, swallow that load. Oh boy. I wish you were one of those that. classy ladies who doesn't who I'm sorry who don't swallow. Go crawl into a hole with Ellen DeGeneres and learn to eat pussy because that is what you are. Wow. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm, I'm actually confused about what that sentence is supposed to mean. Like, is she saying that you're a lesbian or that you're a pussy? Because I, I think she's trying to say I'm that honestly you're... lost. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure she's trying to say that you're a pussy, and I have to say that's actually that, that's fairly clever wordplay on her part. <laughs> right, the words do, yeah. <laughs> also, uh, I, something I have to point out because I noticed it. If you're one of those classy ladies who don't swallow, period. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, there was a period there. Those are two separate sentences. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I would have thought that the classier ladies would have swallowed because if you're classy, you don't want to make a mess. Right. See, spitting is not ladylike. So oh. Oh. I, I don't know why <laughs> she would assume that if you're classy, you don't swallow. Yeah. Something tells me she probably doesn't know what she's talking about. Probably not. Although, uh, who am I to judge? I don't know. She did say check out their penis first, so... Yeah. And that, that actually is something, you know, dick pics are God's gift to women. Not all women like dick pics. <laughs> Especially, Especially random with... anonymous ones. Yeah. It, it, you just know. If you ask for one and they give it to you, fine. If, if it's offered and you accept, fine. You know, that, that sort of thing. If but you just post random... it on your Twitter, not so much. No, no, not unless not unless it's a specific Twitter specifically for that kind of bullshit. And not if you're saying a U.S. senator. Right. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, spitting is for quitters. You swallow that sweet and salty mix. Yes, she said mm. Sweet and salty. Like the real woman you are. You're a man for the night. I'm just pausing here so you understand that for the night will forever tell his bros about you dick-sucking abilities. Another typo. Jeebus! Oh, if you haven't noticed by now, I love sucking dick. Good for you. I crowned myself the dick-sucking queen, and no one is ever going to take that title from me. So back the fuck off. I don't know. I mean, I, I know a couple of women that I've been with that could definitely go to toe to toe with you <laughs> okay i know I, I complimented her on her wordplay uh, ability but she missed a great opportunity she could have said spitters are quitters oh yeah that's true <laughs> that would have been good yeah spitters are quitters. and 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 oh, for at least through part of this i'm sitting here thinking okay you know you know, I'm thinking back to this whole Sam Kennison thing where he's talking about a woman, you know, going down and he shoots shoots off in her mouth, and you know she doesn't like that, and and, and she could just take revenge, go up, kiss him, and then deposit the load right back in his mouth. You swallow it, motherfucker. 
I, I'm pretty sure, by the way, that Gonzo just came up with the title for this episode, Spitters or Quitters. <laughs> <laughs> that, I've never been prouder of anything. <laughs> okay. Number three, blackout or back the fuck out. If you're getting ready to hit the square or frats with your sisters, you better have already been pounding the liquor by 7 p.m. <laughs> Seven? Really? Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, no one ever enjoys a sober Sally. She judges the fuck out of you. And even though I judge everyone who is within four feet of me, no one can judge me. I live my uh, life by a double standard. See number four. Mm. It is really a great feeling to wake up, hopefully in your bed. <laughs> hopefully in your bed. Not half naked in the Denny's parking lot, but hey, we're right. just the territory. Right. Uh, and in, look in to a... your side with a confused look, asking yourself, did I have sex with him? By the way, guys, this is a great feeling to have, she said. I just want you to remember that. Nice. Uh-oh. It has happened to me countless times, but luckily I always find my used condoms on the floor of my room, so I sort of know when I have had sex. Sort of know? I mean, okay. I bring home classy dudes. That's right, right. guys. They're so classy. They um, screw oh, yeah. blackout drunk, but they do use a condom. Yeah, and even then, even then, even if even if they're not totally heinous jackasses and and fucking you while you're blackout drunk, you know, you just because the condoms there, they could be doing that just to give you the false sense of security that they actually fucked you, instead of you know maybe jacking off in the condom and just leaving it there. That's always possible. It's most likely the other one, the more heinous one, but you know, there's always that possibility. Oh yeah. On several occasions, I have brought someone home from the bar and tried to introduce him to my roommates slash friends and forgotten his name. Always have the upper hand. You don't need to know his name to hop on his Tic Tac. I well. What? <laughs> now, somebody in the comments section, I'm going to jump to this right now because I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to bring it up, makes okay. a very good point. You should never be hopping on his Tic Tac if you've looked at a dick pic. <laughs> you should know that he has a Tic Tac. And said no. <laughs> just oh, I, I just lo- I just love this. Uh, somebody else commented. Always have the upper hand. You don't need to know his name to hop on his tic tac. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but this could be the greatest sentence ever recorded in the English language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and then the comment after that is, uh, it would have been if she had used a semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> Because it says always have the upper hand, comma. You yeah. don't need to. Yeah. Because so. grammar is important. It is. No matter what they try and tell you, grammar is important. Uh, as she alerted us, number four is live your life by a double standard. Oh, boy. You are the queen of the fucking world. You can do no wrong. You're the only one who can fuck every random... You who can fuck randoms every weekend and not be judged. And by the You're way, the randoms sh- is in the possessive. It is not... It's plural not possessive yeah you can fuck randoms what what? yeah yeah well i think we know what well yeah (laughs) obviously (laughs) um Um, you're the shit and no one can tell you any different you can yell at your slut roommate and tell her that her bedroom is a revolving door even though you hooked up with two different guys in two days and it could have been three but who's counting anymore Excuses are your new best friend. Not that fake fucking Yerman your sleazy ex got you because he was a two-pump chump. What? You better start wow. having excuses memorized like the six-carat princess-cut engagement ring your richest fuck future boyfriend better get you in a few years you have memorized. I have no idea what that sentence is supposed to mean, by the way. The I've read fuck? it multiple times. I've read it in the comments. The comments don't understand what it means either. Wow. No, yeah. Excuses memorized, like the the diamond, the engagement ring. Your, you, you better. I don't know. I, I yeah, think what she's trying to is, say is is, is you have like the princess, princess cut engagement ring, boyfriend that you should have memorized. Uh, yeah. It's memorized twice in the same sentence, <laughs> and I don't know why we're memorizing a, a six carat engagement oh. ring. I don't know. I don't either. know. It might be because it's like the the one that you you've picked out and have memorized and are going to show to him and get him to buy. I don't. 
And by the way, guys, Garrett is fucking enormous. Yeah. Yeah. Just, wow. Um, anyway, I lived my life by the absolute biggest double standard, and it has gotten me so far. You young sleuths better start doing the same. We need someone to be a good... To be... Sorry. We need someone good to be the next A of sorority. Next A? I don't know what that means either. I'm going to guess that's some sort of sorority thing. I um, do on the so. very slim chance that we have somebody who is part of a sorority. Yeah. Well, out of 20 <laughs> something regular viewers, maybe, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the um, next alpha, maybe? maybe? You know what that means? Can you let us know? <laughs> yes, please. No clue. Well, given the like the Greek content, you know, the, the Greek connections and all that, I would. Probably assume it's like alpha or something. Maybe. Yeah. But I don't. I don't know. I, I never. I, I never went within a stone's throw of a sorority in college or a fraternity for that matter. Yeah. So you fucking lucky little bitches have a few more years to run out mommy's credit card while crying to daddy that you have no money in your account, so he slips you some cash for booze and weed. Spend that cash you don't have on illegal drugs, unless you're one of the blessed who's already so fucked up that you stumbled upon prescription drugs. If that's the case, hit me up, winky face. Oh, dear. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry, winky face, period. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why she put the period there, but whatever. She, uh, period should come before the winky face, shouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's just Remember, a little mole. Wrap it before you tap it. No one wants the herps. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> no one wants the herbs. That needs to enter the popular vernacular now. Yes. Yeah, it does. It really does. Oh and if God. you can, always be slightly drunk. <laughs> I would be so much better. Okay. That, that, the, the, the second to last sentence. Those those two things, wrap it before you tap it, no one wants the herps. Those are things people could and should get behind because you should wrap it before you tap it, and nobody wants the goddamn herps. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, but... Yeah. But the rest was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen some of the comments thinking, okay, this is this has got to be some some douchebag who wrote this in, in, in place of this woman. Or, 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 or made up this woman and wrote it you know, as from as it was her. Oh. But the last paragraph of this article reads, While much of modern civilization is dependent on rapidly dwindling fossil fuels, unhinged sorority girls are an ever-renewable resource. If only we could discover a way to convert their power into electricity, our fracking anxiety would be over. And no, that is not a euphemism for fucking it. It's kind of the you know, whole fracking thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I I remember saying stuff like that when I was driving in Ohio. You know, it was like anti fracking. This is like, what the hell is fracking? <laughs> but but uh, no. it's like fracturing, I think, or something like that. Yeah, it's like uh, break. I, mean, I actually, this is really bad because I actually live in a state where fracking is a really big deal. Yeah. But um, it's basically like yeah, breaking through uh, like like the bedrock or something, or just using extreme measures to get down through to the oil and it's just it's a very it's very costly very disruptive to the environment and it has a there's there's a big chance of failure and Ooh. if that happens it's i mean i don't know how big the chance of failure is but it's like it is a thing that can happen and if it does it'll like completely ruin uh like a local environment or like fish habitat or it's it's not good yeah so if it goes wrong it, it fucks up a lot of shit basically yeah it can also cause earthquakes oh that's fun because mm-hmm. that's that's all that's what we all need yeah we we all could use earthquakes and meanwhile we everybody all, in, we yeah, all yeah. need fracking earthquakes yeah meanwhile everybody on the coast of california is like you don't want earthquakes <laughs> no oh. oh my god uh this, this comment um they, they quoted, you better start having excuses memorized like the six-carat princess got an engagement ring, your richest fuck future boyfriend better get you in a few years you have memorized. Please see me after class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that just doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> nobody else gets it either. No, we, nobody gets it. If you get this, please write in and, and, and tell us because, you know, maybe... 
and, and, and maybe pass along whatever pot you happen to be smoking so we can get it too. Mm. You know, because I just don't get it. I don't even think you – know, you know what? I could get drunk tonight after we record this, and I could try reading that, and I probably still won't get it. Yeah. yeah. So I... – as for the comics, I love the all of the comments about seven minutes and yes. whether it's too long or not long enough. Because <laughs> there's you know what, that... seven minutes. God, call me an old lady, but I ain't the time, have the time or patience for that shit. Yeah. Do you know what that bit reminded me of? Um, is the scene in There's Something About Mary where uh, um, <clears throat> where Ben Stiller, uh, he's driving along and he picks up the hitchhiker played by Harlan Williams who is talking about how he has something that's going to blow eight-minute abs out of the water. Seven-minute abs. <laughs> yeah, seven-minute abs. That would do it. That's just the right amount of time. Eight minutes, oh, my God, that's too long. It's six minutes. No, you're not getting your proper workout, man. Seven-minute abs. Seven-minute oh, abs. I, I just have to wonder what what what, what had I just have to wonder what was going through her mind. What were her experiences? I mean... I mean, there, there's got to be more to it. I, I honestly do want to to question and find out more about this because it's like, why? That, well, that's given, all I want to know is why. Well, given the fact that the last paragraph is basically her saying, like, have as much sex, get as get drunk as much, do as many drugs as you can before your your dad, your mom, and your dad's credit runs out. She basically strikes me as somebody who grew up with with wealth, you know, with, with money in her family, mm -hmm. basically had the ability to do whatever she wanted, went to a, a, I mean, I don't know where she went to, obviously, I don't think they, they say where she went to school, but I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she went to a pretty prestigious school or at least a school that was, you know, that her parents paid quite a bit of money for. And during her, her schooling, she just, you know, kept sleeping around, kept getting drunk and really kind of, shirking her studies and then at the end she was like forced to basically write something about what school it meant to her she was just like i'm gonna i, I don't wanna I'm, I'm gonna write about about how i'm the dick sucking queen jesus god these people need to know it <laughs> there you wills as i know them are meant to be like a funny thing that you leave behind yeah. um where it's like you know i will somebody a hairbrush because they really need to comb their hair or, you know, yeah, just all sorts of things. I will this lunch table to, you know, some kid who's been trying to sit at their lunch table for the amount of time they've been in school or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, even my podunk little high school had like senior wills and shit that they put in the yearbook. I was we the had one, them like... and somebody went to get them photocopied and they were confiscated and we never saw them. Oh, no. Oh, really? So my, my class ended up not having senior wills. No, no, I, I see when when I was a senior and I was graduating, uh, the second generation of Pokemon games was just coming out and, and being popular. And I was in a Pokemon frame of mind when I wrote up my senior will. So I willed everybody a Pokemon. You know, <laughs> some of them just random, some of them because, OK, I figured, you know. You know, there, there's an equivalent real-world animal that they like, so they would like this particular Pokemon. Like, one friend, I, I willed her a ladybug because she likes ladybugs. Makes Ooh. sense. There was one that I wasn't fond of at the time, and I hated spiders, and I was not fond of her, so I left her a spinner rack. <laughs> so it's just... <laughs> ah. yeah. But... But I was the weird one like that, and everybody else is willing all these other things, and I don't think anybody willed anything to me, fuckers. Yeah. So, but yeah. So now, now we've got about oh about thirty one minutes or so left. We get to go to the other end of this. Um, we we had our fun with this one. It was fun. And yeah. And and and, and this other one, also on Jezebel. I believe I believe the L had posted this. I think she sent it to me over Skype. And I'm like, you know what? We 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 gotta we've gotta at some point read the rapey emails of American University secret fraternity. There's a secret fraternity. Okay then. Yeah. Uh, oh god. Oh god. I I am not gonna like reading this first paragraph, but I've got to. 
Get the pitchers in the right state of intoxication so the plows will be raining all over the place, read one of the fraternity-wide emails. Okay. The plows will be raining all over the place. The fuck? I'm sorry, I'm from a farming state. I just picture plows falling from the sky. (laughs) I'm not even in a farming state. I I, I know what he means, but that's still what I picture in my head. I know, that, that... I, I, that, that, that's one of those things where we are, we are probably going to grab onto every light image and funny image and take as much piss out as possible, even though this is a really serious issue. Damn. She had a friend who got raped in our house, read another. I would like to meet this lying cunt and show her how African men tread their women. Tre- you mean treat. You mean treat. Uh in an unrelated email chain, another Epsilon Iota fraternity member lamented, Something needs to be done so bitches will still go to our parties. I have an idea. Don't rape them. But don't call them bitches either. Yeah. Yeah. Making them feel unsafe? No. That that that's nothing wrong with that. No, what what's what's what are we gonna do now? Yeah, it's just it's just you know what? You know, let's invert it. Okay, let's say there's a bunch of women with, with you know, like like the big uh, John Holmes cannon-like dildos strapped onto them, and every guy that goes to their party, they, they anally violate. You think men are going to want to go there? No. I wouldn't. Well, some guys. Some guys might, but that's also but, a willing thing. Yeah, I mean, like, it'd be like, oh, well, I, I actually didn't know I liked that. Yeah. I'm going to go back for more. But, I mean, it's not like... If it, if it happened to them without their notice or without their consent, they probably wouldn't enjoy it that much, even if it was something they were into. Exactly. Yep. And I, and that's kind of where I was trying to get with that. It, mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, you know, you go someplace and you run the risk of being raped. It doesn't matter who you are. You don't want to go back there. So, yeah. Yeah. So last week, 70 pages of leaked emails and texts from Epsilon Iota's list serve were sent anonymously to several students at American University. The trove and accompanying anonymous blog about the fraternity's overall bastardy quickly went viral among students, faculty, and administration at the school, and by Friday had prompted a petition, a Facebook group, excuse me, and an administration-launched inquiry. And one of the the first pictures they have here is from this – and and keep in mind, when you see the pictures, you will see the names. I'm not going to say the names here because I want you to actually go and, and see the article for yourself. And and see the name for yourself if you so choose. But the names are there. Mm. Uh, Don't do anything illegal, folks. Um, (laughs) This person says, Ha ha, did you see my email? She's the type of girl that you need to fuck hard and rape in the woods. Did you copy-paste? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Fuck hard and rape in the woods? No. The ridiculous part is because this is a screenshot from the person who said, laughing my ass off, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. now this guy knows who sent this message out. Yeah, that that's kind of, oof. Uh, but, you know, what's there is there, uh, unfortunately for him. Mm-hmm. Maybe not so unfortunately, I don't know. <clears throat> but, uh, the emails were gathered and leaked by an anonymous source. Another anonymous individual close to the leak is currently curating the blog, the Frettergate, Fret, Frettergate AU which aims to force the school's administration to address the abusive behavior implied in the group's emails. Which, by the way, a little bit before the show, I I saw a little something about it in in conjunction with Christian schools getting around this kind of shit. Um, Legally, you're supposed to do so, school administrators. You're supposed to look into it. You're supposed to take care of it and squash it out. Yeah. Legally. Legally. And if you're not doing that, you are breaking the law. Yeah, I mean, like, if, if somebody at a school that you're responsible for is feeling unsafe, then you have then you have a responsibility to look into that. And if it's a, it's a, if it's a campus-wide thing or even just a fraternity-wide thing or even if it's just an isolated incident, then there shouldn't really be much excuse. I mean, I know that, the, you know, these are now college students and not high school students or elementary school students anymore, but still, like, th- this, this, this kind of shit is not cool. And yeah. it shouldn't be. It shouldn't, you know, have to be like a letter writing campaign or something. I don't, I don't know if that's what it is, but they should. The administration should not be forced to look into this. They should have just like heard wind of it and been like, "All right, we're 
we're we're getting down to, to business on this and figuring out what the hell's going on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've heard of other stories of I, th- I think it was schools that are like, oh, we don't want this to be plastered everywhere because we don't want that kind of image. Well, if you don't want that kind of image, and you're trying to keep the victim from saying anything, that's the wrong way to do it. Here's what you do. You're worried about about this thing. I, I think. I think yeah. Well, the FSU thing that I think I mentioned last week is a good mm-hmm. example. Is an example. It could be an example. And pff, could be an example of that. See, it's the, this thing's got me so going. I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> just you know, we don't we don't want the the reputation that that our football boys might rape a woman. No. Here's the thing. You take out the rapists. If that happens to be the whole team, then you get a whole new goddamn team. If it's just yeah. one or two people, then say, hey, we have no more rapists on the team. They have been dealt with. You can come here, and if something happens to you, you know, you know, whatever deity you believe in forbid that something happens to you, then we will deal with it. We will not stand for it. We will not tolerate it. That's the stance these administrators need to have. Right, because what's going what's gonna to look worse if you – get rid of your star player because he raped somebody and then like letting the, the season kind of, you know, go downhill from there, but you know, or just letting it sit, not doing anything about it. And then when it all comes to light and it becomes a bigger issue and it's revealed that you were aware of this, that you knew that it was happening, but you did jack shit about it. Something tells me that's going to look a lot worse. Yeah, just a yeah, yeah, just I I can't even say a little. It it is just boom. And yeah. uh, like I guess what makes it seem even worse to me about this is that like I was reading um on some NBC website. I think it was a more local one that was just saying how they lost recognition as a fraternity chapter um both nationally and at the university level, in 2001. Whoa! For serious policy infractions, um, which involved wow. hazing and alcohol abuse. Oh, jeebus. And oh. so after they lost their recognition as a chapter, they made this fake fraternity. Ah. Uh, mm. Okay. Because we have to have our booze and rape group. Right. <laughs> If the university won't allow it, then we'll just do it without them. For a right as individuals to violate the rights of other individuals. Yes. Uh, But they they do have a couple of other emails that they do here, and we'll we'll go over a couple of them. Uh, Like this first one. It's a reply to a subject. Bitches are the laziest creatures. I don't know that. I mean, well... Oh, 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 okay. My girlfriend's dog is is kind of late. Oh, wait. You mean the other kind of bitches? Okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's whenever those bitches almost killed Fleazy and they went over killing the chocolate syrup and soy milk on the steps. What? And then that's by basically just the highlighted part. What they mm-hmm. didn't highlight was I told them not to egg the house, but they did anyway. And why do you think they would have egged your house? I mean, for I mean, it could have been something innocent. It could have been just like, oh yeah, pranks on from one tr- fraternity to another. That happens, you know. As long as it's all in good fun and and not you know overly like I'm going to stab you in the face with a spear type thing, that's that's fine. But if you know if you guys have the reputation you have with others with like sororities and women around your campus or whatever, then they have every right to egg your house, especially if you're getting away with rape. Just right. saying, you know. And egging is the least. Would would I would think egging would be the least of your problems, especially now. Uh, well, yeah. apparently all of the other fraternities and sororities on this campus are in trouble right now. Oh dear. Um, because really? they continued to help it, the, both the university and the community of this school, um, failed to report. Not only their past behavior, but they continued to help it exist. So, despite being a secret fraternity, this is actually well known on American University campus. Oh dear! So Ugh. this was like so the administration was still aware that they were operating. Apparently, yeah. Well, that's pretty bad. That is, and oh wait, what is it? Oh yeah, illegal. Mm, yep. Ugh. Yeah. 
and skipping around a little bit. Lots of references to bitches of all kinds. Fat bitches, mean bitches, opinionated bitches, freshman bitches, senior bitches, bitches getting finger banding cats, and bitches getting fucked in libraries. Bitches who need to come to parties. Lazy bitches. Bitches, bitches, bitches. Just to get that out of there. Uh, and the screenshot right under it. As I sit here waiting for my block class to begin, I cannot help but reflect on my past dated events. Past dated events. Okay. Freshman year blacking out and getting naked in front of beep before I even bothered making a move, subsequ subsequently leaving her in my room to run through the halls in my boxers. Okay. Sophomore oh. year bringing bleep back with the hope with the hopes of revisiting that freshly popped cherry. Blackout prevented this again. So wait. You got drunk. You got another blackout drunk woman and brought her back to your room and you ended up running through the halls in your boxers anyway and didn't even do anything with her. Okay, I, I can deal with that. And then he's trying to do it again and he blacked out, prevented him getting booty again. Methinks there's an issue here with how you hold your liquor. Yeah, yeah seriously. You know, for one thing. For another thing, if, if she was... Um, if she was blackout drunk, then okay, you didn't do anything to her, and that's fine. You know, your own stupidity prevented you from being a total monster. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't believe I just thought that and said that, but I'm like, well, you know, at least the fact that you fail at, you know, being a rapist is a good thing. Yeah. That, yeah. That, at least that, the that, fact that you can't drink for shit means that you can't. Do anything I'm, I'm, harmful, apparently. I'm glad you suck at being a shitty person. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, when there's what do more... you say about that? Oh, God. Well, there's more. Oh, and last year I got so wasted that I can't even remember who I brought or whether I fucked her. Well, if it's anything like your previous two years, you probably didn't. No. Probably not. No, I just, and... just gonna assume that at this point. Yeah. The point here is that dated is always such a shit show that even if you got laid, chances are you can't remember. This is my last dated and obviously the last for any other members of the X. Shit, even Burp is now showing face. So you young Epsilons need to make shit happen for the seniors who will leave you with the responsibility of ensuring our posterity, but more importantly for yourselves. Get some hot dates and roll deep with us to whatever shit club our event is at. Let's remind Pretty Boy Promotions why it's a fucking retarded co why it's a fucking retarded to congregate blackout L's around an open bar. That's EIs. EIs, okay. Yeah, because it's Epsilon Iota. Okay, that's right. Ah, mm. uh, fucking font. And then this is his last sentence. Hit me up if you need a hot bitch to vomit all over. Right. I'm sure we're all thinking the same thing, but I'm going to say it anyway. It, did he just volunteer himself as a hot bitch to be vomited on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. There you he says, go. hit me up if you need a hot bitch to vomit all over, so... This guy is just full of fail. I mean, his intentions are horrible, but he fails so much that it doesn't matter. <laughs> At least, at least with the context we are given here, it's just oh god. <laughs> I, I just, I just lo love it what you said, Holly. Though it really is like thank you for being uh, for failing at being a shitty person because it yeah. probably saved a few people. Yeah. Okay. So, so the, the leaked emails also contain discussions about how to sell or obtain drugs, well-laid plans to get women drunk so they're more likely to sleep with the brothers, and plenty of disparaging comments about women who one or more of the brothers had plowed. Okay, I'm going to say this right now. If you have to get a woman drunk to get her to fuck you, that says something about you. And it's sad, my friend. <laughs> very, very sad. Yeah. Very sad. <laughs> very sad and very rapey. Because, yeah. you know what? You look at me, uh, my, my picture is out there, my, you know, how I look is out there. You would not think that I would be able to have any kind of a sexual relationship. person who looks at me would think, oh, he's probably a virgin. No. And I am actually proud to say that none of the women that I have had sex with were drunk. I did not have to get them drunk. I, I just – you know, we just talked, and things hit it off, and boom. Next thing you know, we're in bed or 
wherever, depending on when the <laughs> situation was. But, but the point there's, is... There's some details we don't really need the specifics for. Fair but... enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. I, I, that is a little TMI. But the point is, I didn't need to. What I had, what I brought to the table was enough. And if what you bring to the table is not enough for the woman you're aiming for, then sorry, you're just going to have to go somewhere else. You know, either that or change your game if you're really that 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 adamant about getting with her. But, yeah, because it doesn't matter who you are; you're not entitled to jack shit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If she doesn't want to give you sex, then that's not a problem with her. That's a problem with you. Yeah. And and not even specifically sex. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. This falls mm-hmm. for anything. If she says no, the answer is no, and you back the fuck off. If he yes. says no, the answer is no, and you back the fuck off. Exactly. Right. And if you are that desperate to get off, you've got two hands and an internet connection. Have fun. Yes. Because yep. there is free porn. Hey, guess what? Porn MD is a thing. It, <laughs> it, 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 you, you know, there you go. All free, mm-hmm. all great. There you go. <laughs> And if you want a good story with your porn, go to Pornhub. Read the comments. Yes. <laughs> uh, there were also allusions to a rape incident, in quotes, and, and, a, and a desire to salvage the reputation for future pledges. Said allusion referred to a 2010 letter to the editor written by an EI member all crossed out under the headline dealing with AU's anti-sex brigade. Anti-sex brigade? Uh-oh. Here's part of it. Let's get this straight. Any woman who heads to an EI party as an anonymous onlooker drinks five cups of the jungle juice and walks back, walks back to a boy's room with him indicating that she wants. Ah, I cannot read apparently with that voice and walks back to a boy's room with him is indicating that she wants sex. Okay. Not necessarily. Maybe she just wants a fucking place to sleep and wants a warm body to sleep next to her. To cry date rape after you sober up the next morning and regret the incident is the equivalent of pulling a gun to someone's head and then later claiming that you didn't ever actually intend to pull the trigger. Is it me or is or is that an apples and oranges thing? I mean, yes, it is, but uh, yeah. um, You can actually put a gun to someone's head and not pull the trigger. So (laughs) I'm not... (laughs) I'm not really sure why he thinks that these two things are yeah. the same and and the same in the way that he thinks that they are. It's just, no, analogy fail. Doom. Yeah, because when you are drunk, you do stupid, stupid, stupid things. Things that you normally would never do. I have driven drunk before and, like, driven when I was absolutely hammered smash because i thought hey i need to get home and this is a great idea i'm incredibly lucky to be alive right now i mean i didn't come i didn't really come close to crashing not that i can really recall but i woke up the next morning thinking holy shit i should not have done that that was the stupidest thing i could have done yeah i mean i i have issues there has been a grand total of one time that i've driven after i have after i've had some drinks not drunk Certainly not buzz, but I, but I had had drinks, and mm. the entire time I was really uncomfortable with it. I'm like, I've had drinks. You, you, you fucking kidding me? But yeah, managed to do it. I managed to get back, and I'm like, okay, I drink. I am not driving. That is set in fucking stone. Ugh. Yeah, it's not a good idea. And oh. and and another thing is like, um. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, girls who are drunk probably are, you know, more willing to, you know, be sort of flirty and a little more promiscuous. Doesn't mean that it's because that's who they actually are. It's just because the alcohol is making them do, you know, more more crazy things. And, yeah, yeah I mean, if they might, they might get into the mindset, it's like, hey, I want to bring a guy back to this room and, and, and have sex with him. But then, you know. That doesn't mean that you should actually follow through with that. You should look at her and be like, you're really drunk right now, and I sh- we shouldn't be doing this. I mean, if you want to just lie down, and if you're, like, adamant about me lying down next to you, then I will, but we're not doing anything. Yeah. I mean, even Austin Powers, the international man of mystery, everybody knows the character is the big fucking horn dog will fuck pretty much any woman with a vagina. Came straight out of the 60s. Yes. 
and there was a part in the first movie I, I've seen I've seen this bit going around on Tumblr and everything where Vanessa I think it was Vanessa that that, that woman's name yeah yeah who who's who drunk and she's like I, w- I want to do it I want to do it and and Austin's like no 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 you're drunk and and I was like dude fucking awesome because you know yeah yeah well and the caption to that there because I've seen this floating around like Tumblr and Facebook and stuff is that if Austin Powers <laughs> Austin Powers seriously people of all people yeah if Austin Powers says no you're too drunk yes yeah I, I, I think that's like if you can't act as good as Austin Powers you have a serious problem very <laughs> serious problem yeah I no this, this whole this whole deal is just it's sad it really is sad that this is still still an issue and that and, and that universities are just still turning a blind eye to these types of things and they're like aware it's like oh yeah it's illegal oh yeah it's heinous it's something that you know no civilized person should be engaging in in the year 2000 fucking 14 but whatever it's not like you know if they find out about it and it gets blown up in the media that it'll make us look bad yeah and one last one last thing i i want to touch on before we close out there's an email down here with the subject line what the fuck and a few of the highlighted bits i, I want to pull out here you simply can't hit a woman regardless of circumstances Okay, starts off good, you know. Although mm-hmm. I would argue that if a woman's beating the shit out of you, then it's called self-defense. Just, just saying. But that, that in and of itself, you know, you, you know, going up and just, you know, punching a woman in the face, not a good thing. You don't do that. So, mm-hmm. all right. Dude, a brother laid his hands on a girl with letters on, and everybody's talking about it. It is a big issue. And no, Chris, even if a bitch punches you in the nuts, you don't hit them ever. Okay, if she's hitting you with the nuts and you can hit back, you, you you've you've got some 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 good good constitution there, I think. Because I don't know about you, the last time I got hit in the nuts, I was pretty out of commission for at least five minutes. Yeah, it's just saying. it's not a it's not a pleasant feeling, and it's also like it's it's one of those things that if if you're like just if if you are in a fight with anybody and they go for that territory. Um, just, just me personally, the moment I regain my senses and like get myself back, I'm going to, I, I'm just, just, I might try and kind of play it off. Like it's no, no big deal. Just get myself back into working condition. And then I go for the nuts. There you then go. I'm going to, I mean, well, I mean, if it's a guy, if it's, if it's a girl, then I'll, I'll probably just, I don't, I don't know. I, but something, because if, if you go for that territory and you clearly are not like doing it in a joking manner, it's on. Yeah, that's understand. And 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 by the way, yes, hitting hitting a woman right there in the vagina that would hurt just as much, I believe. Am I? I, I believe. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. Um, it, 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 I mean, uh, to be uh, fair, to, to actually hit somebody in the vagina. Well, that would involve penetration a little bit, because right, technically the be, vagina is that inside. Would be very difficult and thus very painful. Yeah. Yeah. But but um, see what I'm saying, hitting that particular. You know that particular region would most likely hurt just about as much. I think if, you know, especially if you hit the clit, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I, I obviously don't have one, but uh, speaking for yeah, speaking of somebody who has been hitting the nuts, it yeah, it hurts, man. It, oh yeah. It is, it, it is a pain that you don't forget. No. No. <laughs> oh. So. To continue on, that being said, let's formulate an excuse. Oof. For the remainder of the semester, we feign ignorance. Our brotherhood already met for the last time. Finals, people going home, etc. None of us have heard anything except rumors from outside. Once our ignorance is no longer viable, hopefully next year if it's even an issue, then we should say this. Some bitch went up and started attacking Milan and Galunkia in the car. I have no idea what, who the fuck they're talking about. She was standing close to the door, and when she when he opened it, she got hit and fell back into some bushes, at which point he beat the dude down and left. Apparently this bitch is psycho and has lots of enemies, which is a plus for us. Mil- Milan, can you take one for the team and give the girl a good Congolese, Congolese cock? What? 
So it goes from, okay, you can't hit a woman regardless of circumstances, even if she hits you in the nuts, to let's feign ignorance about the fact that we've done it. <laughs> Actually, the conversation runs the other way. It runs from the bottom up. Oh. So, so somebody actually turned around and was like, no, no, you, you can't hit girls. You can't. Okay, so yeah. I had it in reverse. <laughs> yeah, and then some like the very last message is like, man, I, I hope this is a rumor and that you guys wouldn't actually do this because, like, seriously. Well, then the, then the first one on the top of it, it says, like, we didn't beat anyone up. Those crazy bitches were straight up assaulting us and hitting and slapping us, so one of the bitches got pushed. That's all that happened with, of course, with some shit talking. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to use their newfound excuse. Yeah, which which says something because I, you know, you heard me go in reverse order on that one, unintentionally, but still in reverse order. But it looks like Jezebel did too, because right after it, never hit a woman ever. That being said, let's formulate an excuse. Yeah. Uh... Although, although it might have to do with just the one email with, with the nuts and then the excuse one. That might be where they're getting that particular one. So, yeah. because that email does start off, nobody, you know, shouldn't, you know, should never lay a hand on a girl, even if she punches you in the nuts. But that being said, excuse, excuse, excuse. So I can see where that goes. And I, and I, and yeah, well, because the one guy does say it's a big issue. Mm -hmm. Um but let's formulate an excuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to quickly finish up, yes, down at the bottom, um, let's see. Uh, further on Friday, the university president sent an email to the entire university community that contained this bit. What AU is doing? I assure you that the university is taking the information contained in the emails very seriously. We are taking a swift and deliberate action to investigate every one of the alleged behaviors and will apply our student conduct code to its fullest extent. In addition, we are working closely with the appropriate law enforcement agencies on any potential criminal activities that are found. Sounds like a good thing. We will communicate as circumstances warrant, and we will continue to promote the highest level of awareness on our campus about student conduct, the behaviors identified in the emails, and the role and responsibilities of fraternities and sororities in our community. That's what they are doing. Good. Okay. What AU cannot do. Many in our campus community are also outraged by the alleged behaviors and are calling for specific actions and a high level of transparency by the university. However, the university is bound by regulations and statutes regarding the disclosure of names and disciplinary and other actions taken with students and with law enforcement. Um, I don't know. I mean, if, if a guy on your campus is a convicted rapist, I think people would need to be able to identify him. But that's just me. Yeah, just a thought. Yeah. We will be as transparent as we can be, but we will not jeopardize due process and the rights of individual privacy. In other words, we're not going to reveal the names if we don't have to. We ask you to understand and respect the university's governance and legal responsibilities. Yeah, your legal responsibility is guys like this, kick them, pun them, kick them out. You know. Yeah. You like know. yeah, if you can if you can prove that they've been doing thing uh, uh, shit like this, and if you can read if you've read their emails that. And if, if there if there is proof, then, yeah, I mean, you might not have to name names or you might not be under any obligation to name names, but they're still violating university policy and rules. I mean, you, you kick them out. Yeah. They're gone. Bye bye. Yeah. So uh, there there's more that could be read out of the article. Uh, if you want to look at it and, and and see for yourself, it's on Jezebel.com. Read the rapey emails of American University Secret Fraternity. That's where you can go and find it. It'll probably be a link on my Tumblr or something. I may have posted it there as well. And uh, speaking of Tumblr, we all have places we we all have other places we are on the web. Uh, so where can we find where can we find you, Gonzo? You can find me on Tumblr and Twitter uh, at Gonzo Link. Also YouTube, same name. And I'm part of the Gotham High audio drama and Team Brotherhood's abridged series of uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood abridged. Sweet. And where can we find you, Holly? I'm all over the place as Kooky Gox. So that's Tumblr, Twitter. My Etsy store is Kooky Gox. <laughs> that's G O O K Y G O X. Mm -hmm. um, 
And my Facebook fan page is Holly Christine Brown and Nerdvice. Yes, Nerdvice, which is where one of the places you can find me. Oh my God, yes. In addition to Nerdvice, you can also find my stuff on rtgomer.com. And if you want to find me on the social medias, you can find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and other places as gomer 21 X. And if you like the show and you like the productions that I help put out and you want to toss money to help provide for better and future, per, uh, not performances so much, although if we get to that point, they can go towards performances, but uh, projects – the other P word that I'm thinking of, including the Let's Play series that's being released <laughs> this week, uh, my Portal 2 Near Blind run, that was actually made possible because of the people over at Patreon, the people who have actually tossed money at me through Patreon. And I want to give them a big thanks. So they're probably going to get it twice because this goes up the same day that the – I think it's – no, it's actually the day after. So the part that goes up <laughs> – Anyway, you're going to get the thanks twice, once in the series, once right now. But uh, but to those who do toss money at me through Patreon, thank you very much. If it wasn't for you, then the Portal 2 series would not have been possible. Just It just wouldn't have. So big thanks for that. Uh, and if you and if you like to see more projects and you want to see me do other things and want to toss money at me to help out, it's uh, patreon.com slash gomer21xx. Uh, so uh, with that, thank you guys for listening, and we will catch you next time. And until then, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian with Holly Christine and Gonzo Link signing off. See you See soon later. Constructive Deconstruction is an RT Gomer Productions presentation. Check us out at rtgomer.com.